Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the World Away New Week. We're going to do part three of Diagostini's Build the Apollo 11 Lunar Module. Okay, just to let you know, we've got quite a busy pack week this week. On Thursday, we're going to be doing a live stream. We've also got the DeLorean coming. I think I've got three issues of that to do. We've got the Terminator coming. I think I'm probably going to have about three issues of that to do as well. Uh, the Bismarck I'm putting on hold until the next delivery. So you won't see any Bismarck videos for a couple of weeks. And I'll explain while I'm doing that uh, on the live stream. Uh, God, what else? I've actually got the James Bond DB5 to start, but uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do about that as well. We'll talk about that on the live stream as well. But thank you for David Rhodes for sending me those uh, that's really appreciated uh, but without further ado let's get cracking on this issue okay so what we got to do well first off let me just uh, open the uh, in like cover here just to show you this foil that we've got this gold foil um, I just want you to see what that picture looks like there because I'm going to be talking about that while I do the build we're actually going to be extending on what we've been doing with the ascent stage panels here with the hatch remember we did the light that's what we're going to be doing in this issue now if I turn to the back and just show you what we've got Quite a lot of things in here as you see we've got some new paneling but we've actually got some of this gold foil now this gold foil is in plastic now i'm wondering with the amount of sections that this is going to have uh, on this module i wonder if that could actually be done with real foil rather than plastic i don't know but uh, if I was modding it, that would something that be something that I'd look into uh, doing, I have to say. Uh, there's only five issues, as I said, in the trial. So um, uh, that's not something I'll probably consider at the moment. But it is something probably to consider in the future. Uh, but as you can see, we're going to be building onto what we've done already on this hatch. So at the end of it, we're going to have this pretty much, I don't know, an eighth of the top section done. Just with some foil plastic liners inside like that. So uh, in the next issue, as you can see, we've got the next parts here as part of the landing uh, foot there, the landing gear, the strut, and that's going to be coming in issue four. So uh, I am really enjoying this build, but I don't know if it's ever going to get a release. That's the sad thing about it. But uh, we'll see. And uh, as I said, the quality of the parts is really good. But I do wonder about this gold, and you'll see that when I'm actually doing the build. Now, I've just laid out all the pieces that we've got in here. We've got two pieces of the Ascent stage again. These are metal. Uh, but the things that are gold, looking just like this, are plastic. They're a funny sort of red tinge colour as well, rather than the actual rich gold that you saw in the pictures earlier on. Uh, but that's those. Uh, we've got two little panels here, which are labelled left and right. But I'll talk about that next time. We've got hundreds and hundreds of these little tiny screws. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this hatch section here and then we've got another window here which is going to be very symmetrical, but very symmetrical, it's going to be exactly symmetrical to the one we had there. So these two holes that we've got on the bottom there, it's going to fill over these two holes here. That's going to sit quite easily just on like that. We're going to be putting this in with four screws, two into the silver metal here and then two onto this beigey sort of metal at the top there. So we get our screwdriver loaded up and get this in. Here's the first screw going in. Just be very soft and gentle with this because uh, it's early morning. <laughs> and that's how I am early in the morning. I always, always, always do these builds first thing. I don't know why that is. I've always been like that. And I guess it's the way people are. I don't know. I mean, when I did my, I've got a, 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 a natural science degree. Uh, and I got that through the Open University. And when I was studying for that, I found I did most of my better work at two o'clock in the morning. So I'd be staying up doing that in the quiet of the morning. But for these builds, for some reason, I, again, I still like doing things really early. I've always been like that. I do, I'm aware that some people do their better work in the evening. <laughs> but who knows? And there we go, look, that's both of those sections in, looking like that from that side. And if I just spin this around, looking just like that. So now we're gonna be putting in the foil section. I said it looks like this. We've got one side with a sort of blank area here. The other side's got a lot of texture. Now, if you look here, we've got a notch. Now, when this goes in, this is actually just gonna go on the notch and then slide up. And obviously we want the blank section there to be resting against the inside of this metal plate here. So when I put this in, going to put this in like that it's going to sit just like that on that side there so we do the same with the other side again we've got a notch just down there so we put that in there 
and then slide it up. Simple as that. But you see, these are only covering those sections there. I do wonder if you could mod this to make this out of gold foil. It'd be very brittle, but it would look more realistic, I reckon. Now, I'm just putting some clamps in there because these aren't glued in at all. Uh, what they're going to be doing is these are going to be held in by this bottom part of the ascent stage here. And basically, this is just going to fit over these two holes here and here. So when this goes in, look, it fits absolutely perfectly just like that. So we're going to be putting these two screws in here uh, on this section here and here. So once I've actually screwed this in, I can remove the clamps. I've got another screw to put in because obviously these now can't slide out because the hatch is holding it in place. So one more screw to put in, just on the other side here. Get that in nice and tight. Excellent, that's the bottom stage on there. Looking just like that now. From this side, from the sides. Impressive, isn't it? <laughs> and this side here. Now just keeping the clamp on here because I'm actually glued just the side of this uh, foil here, just to the side of the metal, just to ensure that's not gonna move. Uh, but we've got these little tiny sections here now which are labeled R and L. Uh, they're just gonna go into this gap that you can see just down the bottom here. So when these are put in, these are going to be glued into place, but when we put them in, they're going to look just like that there as the uh, thing pings around. But we've got to get this glued in, so let's get that out. And this time I'm not using my uh, stick because this is quite controllable. I'm just going to dot a tiniest bit of glue just on there at the moment. And then we'll get this part put back in. And then once this is in, hang on a second. Just like that, I am gonna just hold that together with a clamp. So there we go, that's looking just like that. And then we do the same on the other side. Now the other side, I've already glued this side here. So all we have to do now is once again, we're gonna be putting just a bit into that section there. And that's gonna look just like this, if I show you. It's gonna look just like that. So once again, I'm just gonna touch a glue just on that gold section of plastic there and then put this in the way it goes just like that and it fits like a glove just like that and there you go that's this section finished looking like that from either side and it's really coming along to say we're three issues in and we've already built all of this an astronaut and the flag I'm pretty impressed with how this looks but there you go what do you think of that so that's it for today's issue of the Build the Apollo build. Probably I'll have issue four out later in the week, depending on how we get on with the DeLorean and the Terminator. Uh, it's good to be back though. I've had a weekend off, so I'm fully refreshed. Uh, if you did like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.